有没有嫌过自己的作品很无聊，一点生气都没有呢？干脆画个神奇的。Just take a two p coin and place it in the four corners of your work, and just very roughly go around it with a pencil. Now, the reason I'm using pencil here is because you can rub the pencil out later on. This is just a guide to start with. There it is. You've got like four circles at the corners of your work. Then take a one p coin and draw. Smaller circles between those bigger circles, and again, I'm just doing it very rough here as a guide. And it's a good idea to leave a gap of about well, at least one centimetre between each of your circles. You'll see why in a minute. And I often use pencil like this just to mark things in. So it's a good idea if you're doing a pen drawing. Because you can rub the pencil out a little later on. I'm just doing this as a guide to start with. I'm doing three circles along the top between my corners, and four circles up or down the side, and there it is. And again, it doesn't have to be accurate. And you can see what's happening here. It's starting to build up a border. Then, if I take a green felt-tip pen and just go around these four corner circles. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You'll see why in a minute. And then watch this. If you start at the top of one of your corner circles and draw a line down to the bottom of the next circle and go around, and then leave a gap. Very important that I'll do that again. Top, bottom, gap. And it's a sort of rhythm, really, isn't it? Top, bottom, gap, and then back to the corner. Now, when you get to the corner, turn it like that on its side. And go along one of the sides. So you start at the top again, bottom gap, and you keep going with the same rhythm all the way round again till you reach the other corner, and then turn it upside down, and again top, bottom gap, all the way round, and then finally when you get to your last side, it comes together. Watch this: top, bottom gap, top, bottom gap. And just do the last one slowly to remind you. Top line to the bottom, around you go, and leave a gap. And there it is. You've sort of created a fancy border around your work. Now you can stop there and rub the pencil out, or you can just add some dots either side of your lines like that, and you start to build up what looks like a vine leaf border. And you could even put in some coloured dots between your leaves. Like that, and then when you've finished it, it looks something like this. It's a sort of floral border. 画的边界，你可以套用在你的作品、你的画、著作，或者只是画着好玩。圆圈之间的缝隙，你还可以画成不同的大小，甚至还可以用不同的颜色。